Hey, it's Sam back here. Welcome to Toon Video. Now, I'm excited to introduce you to this software today. It's a new video creation software that has a bit of a twist. Um, you'll often see in advertising, you'll see these in advertising videos, you'll see them um, possibly on, on, in online ads, online videos, these 3D animations that are inside of a video. Now, what this software that I'm about to show you does is it allows you to basically add in 3D characters. You can rotate them as you want. You can edit them, make them look as you want. And you can actually ha combine those with live videos if you want to, or videos that you add into the video itself. So the flexibility is there. You can add whatever you want into your videos, from live videos to audio to, you can add in all sorts of different types of videos that you might want to add into the system. And you can then edit them within the system and create a full length advertisement, a full length sales video, or if you wanted to, um, a, a movie using 3D characters if you want, or 2D characters. It's a downloadable software for Windows and Mac, and down below you'll find out more information about it. You'll also see a number of bonuses that will allow you to have a number of assets you can add into your videos, such as images, such as backgrounds, such as videos, intros, outros, they're all added down below there. You can find out about those, plus I've included a number of white label bonuses, and this is a great software a solution that will give you the ability to create sales videos for your white label products or create sales videos for products you launch in future or even clients. There's a number of templates in the software that allows you to do this whether you're working with a client or whether you're doing this in your own business. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and have a look at what's inside this package. Now, what you're getting access to today is the downloadable software. You're also getting access to a step-by-step -step video training package that'll walk you through how to use the software. You're getting access to a number of 2D and 3D characters. Now, when I say a number, they have a lot packed into here. You're getting access to a number of backgrounds already added into the software, and you'll be ready to go once you purchase the front-end product. It has all you need to start editing and creating videos inside of that front-end product. Also, here is a quick look at the features inside of the system. Now we see here that inside of the front end product you can create 3D animated videos, 2D animated videos, hand cut out videos, you can't create GIF animations, that's part of the upgrades, you can't create video memes using video, that's part of an upgrade as well. You're able to use watermark free videos and here's a quick look, um, you, can take a, uh, you can stop the video to have a quick look at all these features, there is a lot that you can do with this software where you can export your movies right into YouTube, right into MP4 format if you want to. You can insert graphics. You can insert 3D models and characters. You can add your own live videos into your videos. And you can do quite a bit with this software. So here is exactly what you're getting access to. You can see here that it's $67 to start. The price is increasing, and you might see down below, um, you'll, you'll see down below the lowest price possible you can get access to, so make sure you check down below this video, and this is exactly what's included. You can also see there is two upgrades, an OTO1 and an OTO2 that's included with this package. With that said, this is the members area. You've got access to a video walkthrough here. When you get in, you'll see a Windows download, a Mac download as well. You'll see the video tutorials here, and you'll be able to upgrade if you want to later on down below here as well. You've got access to a My Account where you can view the type of package you've got. And when you've downloaded the software, here's how it'll look. It'll be downloaded into your computer right here. It can be used offline or online if you want to, I believe. And um, this is what is here. Now, down below, you'll see the library templates. Now, I've already downloaded these library templates earlier. When you go in here, what you'll see is you'll see a download button that is down on each one of these templates. You can pick and choose which ones you want to download, or you can do what I did and download the entire library which is what I've done. These are the different templates that are included with this library right here. They consist of a number of videos from um, product launch videos to offline marketing videos to online marketing videos to YouTube ads, YouTube end cards that you put at the end of videos, and a number of 3D animations that look really quite cool. Let's choose one of these today. I'm gonna choose this uh, one right here, you'll probably see videos with this included. Oh, let's, let's choose this actually, because it shows the 3D image. So. The software is divided up into a number of different uh, editing options. We first got, as part of the Tune Video starting point, um, these slides right here. These slides are all editable, and they include a different slide. You can add different slides, and what these slides do is they allow the video to flow. Now, once you've added a new slide, what you'll see is you'll see these scenes down here. 
Now, when I say slide, I mean scene. A slide is exactly the same as a scene. These different scenes are all viewable individually down here, or you can actually view the entire scene flow and watch the video as it appears. You can see here how these 3D images and people can be incorporated already into your videos. This is just showing a couple of them right now, but if we wanted to, we could click play here and we could view this video start to finish as it looks. Every element in this video is editable. Every 3D image, every 3D person is um, viewable so basic or editable. So basically you can edit them if you want to. So they'll show up as a, um, a rotated person. You can animate these people. They can actually move around while you're doing the video. And as you can see here, they're animated as well. You can include more than one of them in a video. You can also include text in your videos and animate these people to correspond with audio that might be in one of your sales videos as well, or um, you know someone's voice that might be in it as well. So here we are, here's another example of some text. And if we decide to stop this video, we decide to select this, we can actually adjust this text as we want. Now in order to adjust a text element, it'll have a number of editing components up here. When you select something, you're going to see this editing interface right here become available. Now one disadvantage of the software is that this editing interface, when you select an object, appears a bit higher sometimes than the editing interface. Now you can drag around this editing interface to make sure that you're able to edit this where you want it to be edited. In this case, you can edit it through this editing dashboard right here. So if I wanted to, I could say, um, uh, my company is ready to answer your call. So call us. Okay, we can then drag that around where we want. It could be fully animated if we want. And you can see here it's now added into our um, our. Uh, our graphic right here. Now if we wanted to, we can actually move this across and you can see here there's another animation coming across the screen. If you want to get access to a huge discount, um, go here right now. So we can select on this and we can start editing this if we wanted to as well. Now if we wanted to go back and we wanted to just view all scenes, you can see the different scenes that are here as well. So you can see here I'm currently editing the arrow. If I wanted to edit this text right here, I could just edit this text. Or if I wanted to go a bit earlier, I could select on this text and I can edit this text through here as well. There it is. And I can edit this text through here as well. Now, I can see there's a few elements that it say coming soon. When this launches, I'm sure these will be added in. Um, just be aware that I'm, edit I'm, I'm currently doing this review and these are not yet in the system. So audio uh, sounds per element aren't in, and animations per um, element aren't in yet. They, I'm sure they will be very soon. Cool. So if we wanted to add a new scene, we're able to add a new scene, and we're able to add new objects, just like you would with a site builder, for example, from this side panel here. You can add audio. You can add backgrounds. If you wanted to, you can add backgrounds. I'll go to the background section. Here they are. If you wanted to, and these are animated backgrounds, you can make them animated if you want. The This little icon here, I believe, is animation, and these are non-animated. You can add new text. You can add audio through here, or they've got audio tracks you can already add in. You've also got import for importing live videos, importing um, animated videos, importing videos that you want to, background videos. And you've got new animated people here that you can look at. Now, the biggest feature of this software is these animated people. What this software offers that other creators like Explainedio, for example, don't offer are these animated people. They are quite cool and they're unique as well. Now if you want to add these in, these are 2D features and these are the 3D ones right here. At any stage, if you want to select one, you can then have a look at how this works and these 3D people are completely animatable as well. So let me show you an example of that. Let's first of all add a new scene. I'm going to add this as scene number six. And I'm going to call it whatever I want. I can choose the duration and I can create this new scene right here. I've now added my new scene into the dashboard. I can now add a new character to the scene if I wanted to. 
So say for example, if um, you know this involved a police officer, your video involved a police officer, I could um, add this person in here. I can then go ahead and I can add text into this image if I wanted to, I'm not gonna do that. And you'll see here my model's added in. Now one small disadvantage of this software is that when you add a model in, because the software works off an internet connection for these elements, or it grabs a, um, uh, you know, these objects from the internet, what will happen is that it'll say that it's loading. So it'll take some time to load sometimes. So while you're editing everything else, you might see that it says loading media. Also, you can animate this media if you want through these object ro radiation or zoom in, zoom outs right here. This 3D image, this 3D person, is fully editable, and that means that you can actually turn them around entirely inside of the editing canvas, which is quite cool because if you need to readjust someone, then you can do that through this editing interface. So while we wait there for that to load, let's add another text element. So we can choose to write something are you in trouble with the law? Add text. We can add this text in. We can resize it, add a different font if we want to. These are the different fonts that are available. Cabin semi-bold. Semi we can add and increase the size of this. We can center if we want to. We can go back to the editing canvas and now enlarge it. We can also have it appearing in our editing canvas at a particular time, like I've done here. You'll see that it comes in at a particular moment. If I wanted to, I could have it appear sooner rather than later, but in this case, I'm gonna have it popping up at this particular moment. Now, one of the difficulties also that I noticed about the software, a small disadvantage, is that this music part down here, there is no way to scroll down and have a look at the music down here. Now, if you add music into this, uh, this scene down here, it will show the music, all right? But it's just a bit smaller and it looks like it wasn't quite as well polished as it could be. Cool, we can also add a background if we want to as well into this canvas. We can add an office background if we wanted to. We select on the uh, image that we want to, we add on stage. And what it's going to do now is it's going to add this into our canvas here for editing. We can then drag the size of this out. I'm gonna drag the size of this out. And we will need to, in order to make this show as a background, we're going to need to, and I'm just gonna do this right now so I can make sure it fits, we need to go back and back. So what that, what that means is that any elements show over top of our background. Now we're still waiting for our animation to load. Let's go ahead and see if we've made any progress on that. My internet's quite slow, so the faster your internet is, the sooner this animation will likely load. Okay, so the um, police animation, for whatever reason, wasn't loading. So what I've done is I've messaged the creator, Peter, and I've asked him um, why that's the case. I've loaded up a new model, and by the way, the, the, um, after previewing it, if I exported that police officer, it would have worked fine for the end result. But um, to show you a demonstration, I need this um, to be working on the editing canvas. So here is an example of another cr um, character that I've created. And what I've discovered is through this process, you can actually move this person around through these little icons right here. These actually control the movement of this character. So what I can do is if I want to, I can actually select on this character and then I can add these movements in so she moves to different objects based on, after selecting that, where I put her. Okay, now if I want to, I can delete these. I don't need to have these on here. I can delete them, I can remove them as you're seeing right here, and they don't need to be on there. Or I can just have her repositioned from the very start. It depends where I've added in this editing uh, canvas. And I can delete this as you see right here. I can delete it, or I can actually have her bouncing in or animating in in some way. What I can also do with this character, which I didn't know before, after going through this process and having a closer look at the characters, what I can also do with her is I can actually change the actions that she does. Right now she's sick. What I can do is I can turn her into someone that has a great idea. I can turn her into an angry person. I can turn her into blowing a kiss. I can transform her into doing other animations through these different uh, different sections right here. So you can see how that works. I can select on one of these other additional animations and she will actually change her demeanor entirely.
Now I have a feeling that because it's not loading, it's because of my internet. Um, but you'll see here that um, you know again, you may have to wait. If you're on a slower connection, be aware that this software doesn't work the best on slower connections. You'll want a fast internet connection. If you do have a fast enough internet connection, I'm on a really slow connection right now. I'm on a hotel internet. Um, then it's not the the best. Um, however, you can still edit this and you can change the way that she does her animations here. So I can animate her. There she is. She's now taking a different stance and she's moving. Um, differently to what she was previously in the animation. I can again go select here, I can go to my character, select here, I can bring her up and her actions and I can adjust her actions, she can even be in a car if I select that I want her to be in a car. There we are, we click replace on stage and again it's going to reload and she's going to be in an animated car once it loads up completely. So you can do a lot with this software, um, one piece of advice if you're on a slow internet connection, this may not be the ideal software for you. Uh, if you are on a quicker connection, then it's fine. You can do these three animations, 3D animations, but again, slower internet, you might have to wait around a bit longer for these animations to happen. And for me, in my position with slower internet right now, um, it has been a little bit frustrating waiting for this. And for me, in my position right now, for example, it has been a bit frustrating um, having to wait for these animations to pop up. So be aware of that when you're doing this. If you are editing the 3D characters, it's the only slow part of the software. Everything else has worked completely fine. Um, but just be aware that when you are editing this, as you can see right here, this animation is selected, but it's not loading up here yet because of the slower internet. Now when you're ready, once you've published and you're ready to go, click Publish. And you'll be able to publish this to YouTube, you'll be able to publish this as your own project through here. And we can actually publish this project right now, exporting it in, uh, into a full length video. If you add in a, a voiceover, if you add in a um, you know, music piece, uh, then that'll be added into this completely done uh, version or rendered version that you'll have off the software. And then you'll be able to use this video however you want. To finalize, to recap, before I preview this, and I'll preview this video with you in just a moment, um, the software is going to be really good if you're looking to do advertisements, offline marketing videos, online marketing videos that include 3D characters, that include animations, that include pictures, images, text. You can create any type of video um, through the software. You can even create live video through the software, add it in and incorporate it with 3D images, graphics, and video. There is a little bit of a learning curve, as you've seen. There's quite a bit to the software, and with that, it means that you'll need to learn all the components, but it's nothing compared with a um, you know software like um, Adobe After Effects, where it's so advanced that you know you need to be um, almost a, you know a, um, a, a rocket scientist in order to do it. This isn't one of those softwares. There is a learning curve. It'll take about an hour to fully understand everything and be able to work around the software and use it fully. Once you get the hang of how everything works, it's quite easy from there. So um, that's my review of this software so far. Tune video. It's a good software. The only feedback that I have is that on a slower internet connection, it can have troubles. And one of the reasons I haven't moved to a faster internet is that I can show you exactly how the software operates um, on an average connection, which is a hotel connection. So you can see for yourself um, a, a slight drawback in the software. Everything else, as you saw, is completely easy to use. And as you'll see on the sales page, there's a ton of great templates to customize and use as well. With a bit of patience, you'll be able to create some really good looking videos with this software. You'll be able to export them, sell them to local businesses, or use them in your own um, business as you want. And again, go down below, check out all of the different bonuses that are available on this page. I hope this demonstration has been informative. It's given you the information you need to make the right decision based on whether this is good for your business or not. And um, let's have a look at my video, my project right now because my um, video conversion has finished. Now right now it's encoding the video. You'll go through this process. I'm using a, a Mac laptop right now. Not the fastest of Macs, uh, but it is encoding this video fairly quickly still. Okay, I'll return to you in just a moment once this is added onto my computer and I can show you a preview of it. Now, as you can see, I've gone back to my computer. It's been about two minutes or pr probably 20 seconds since I left you. And now we've got new project. We open up that new project. I didn't have any sound or audio added in, but here is my animated video running. It looks good. It works well. It has text as it should. It has animated characters. And as you'll see in just a moment, it's going to pop up with the scene that I created. And you'll be able to see the animations that were in that scene as well. My company is ready to answer your call, so call us. You'll remember that I had that animation come through. I may want to do a slight adjustment here to this. Um, this doesn't look very tidy on the image, but it's okay. 
and you'll see here that the animation has loaded. Unfortunately, it's saying loading model as well. So that's a slight drawback of the software. You need to wait until this has fully loaded. So um, that's uh, my review. I think that this software is really cool. Again, um, slow internet connection, not ideal. There are some components of the software which aren't perfect as you're seeing right now in this preview video. Um, and I'm not gonna edit this out of this video. I wanna show you exactly what this um, does so you can see as well what you need to look out for. On, a, on, a, um, you know, on most softwares, if you add this image in, it will show um, the new image even if it doesn't preview it in the previewer. On this software, it's showing exactly how it shows in the previewer. And um, you know that's not ideal for one of these softwares. If it was showing um, as it should, it should have a car with a lady in it. So you need to wait for it to load. That again is a drawback of being on a slower internet connection using a web-based software on a slower internet connection. If you're using this, you need to be patient and wait for those 3D elements to load. Even though they take a while, it may take between 20 seconds and 10 minutes for these animations to actually load on your canvas depending on how fast your internet connection is. Cool. All right. Well, I hope this review was helpful. It was useful in showing you how the software works, the benefits, the disadvantages of the software, and you now can make a, um, a good decision for yourself um, whether this is right for you or not. Thanks for listening. This is Sam Becker. Go down below, check out all of the details down there, and I look forward to talking with you again soon. See you later.